Okay, guys, we are back. This is part two. And I could not let you guys go before I let y'all know that I was told that the reason why he came to get the car was so that he could take her out on dates. But, of course, y'all know he wasn't around for me to, you know, confront him about it because he was already up there. But anyway, uh, the situation was that, like I told you, he he met his, uh, you know, her husband cousin, and as y'all know, back in the days when light skin was in, it was one of those situations. I was pecan ten, and she was high yellow, so you can imagine what that was all about. So one day he had the audacity to come home. It was on the weekend. And as usual, me and Lola was together. We had went to the store, right? And we was uh we had bought stuff and we can't we was walking out the store. And as we was walking out the store, here come her and him walk they're walking across the street from where we are because they coming from another store and they're across the street from where we are and when i spot them my first reaction is we go get them and i'm thinking to run across the street you know what i'm saying and and get them and as usual lola would let me go i say let me go lola let me go lola like no you ain't gonna go over there man i wanted to go box Okay, y'all know it's certain words you can use on YouTube, so I want to go box. But Lola said, no, you're not fixing to go over there. So after she talked to me and calmed me down, I realized, you know, what I was doing. I came to my senses, so I said, okay, I'm not fixing to go over there boxing over somebody who, you know, don't want me. That ain't going to make them want me if I'm boxing over them. So I let it go, guys. I, I did. I let it go. But that's the last time I seen or heard of them, right? So on down the line, I I can't really say whether it was a year or a year later. I want to say like a year later, I had got my own place. And me and some of my school friends who I hung out with, we was all hanging out at my house, chilling, you know, talking, cutting up like girls do. And... He comes over to my house. Me, I don't hold grudges against people. My motto was, I don't get mad. I get even. That's how I used to be. Now, I don't, I'm not like that anymore. Okay, I let God handle I let God handle mine now. Okay. So, what I did, I let him come over and he come in. You know, we all sitting around talking and laughing and stuff. And the whole time he down, he talked about my girl this and my girl that. And so me, I'm just showing out in front of my girls. I got up and I shot my door and I was like, uh, excuse me, if you so crazy about your girl, what are you doing in my house? And all my girls, they all went to laughing and cutting up on him, you know, shining. He was just standing there looking like a dumb deer with the headlights coming at him. He was lost. He didn't know what to say, y'all. But, like I said, I was just cutting the food. So, me and my girls, we was planning on going out that night, you know. So, I had told him, I said, well, look, we're getting ready to, you know, get ready to go out. And if you want to, I said, you can stop by later on, you know, and holler at me, you know, we can kick it or whatever. So, he said, okay, you guys, I was not looking for this man to come back. Why? Because he got a girlfriend. He's supposed to be with his girl. That's what he said, right? So, here it is, me and my girls, we go out, we have us a good time, we party, we come back. Somebody's standing in my yard. And when we pull up, I got a guy with me also, by the way. And we pull up, and everybody like, who is that? Who is that? I know who it is, but I ain't look for him to come back, right? So, I told my guy out the car, I said, yo, I said, I was just joking with you. I was just playing with you. I wasn't looking for you to come back for real, you know. And he was like, well, 
I told y'all I would come back. I'll show y'all I'll come back. You know, like he trying to prove a point that he'll come back. But what you failing to understand, you said you had a girl. You left me for a girl. And you supposed to be with her. Not trying to come back to show me nothing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's the last part of it. The last time I seen of him or anything like that. But I got the last cow. You know what I'm saying? I got the last laugh in the deal, and I felt good about it. So, this I'm going to end this right here. And y'all remember, God loves you, and so do I. And remember, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and you guys have a blessed day.